Hello, Douglas County. Welcome to our 10th DCTV 23 weekly update show on COVID-19. I'm Rick Martin, Director of Communications and Community Relations for Douglas County. And I'm Communications and Media Specialist Lena Hardy. Thank you for joining us. Per guidelines from the Health Department, we continue to encourage citizens to wear a face covering while being in public, wash hands repeatedly throughout the day, and practice social distancing to fight the spread of COVID-19. Rick, could you provide any updates on cases in Douglas County? Yes, yes. According to Georgia's latest report, as of June 11th, Douglas County has 612 confirmed cases, and sadly, 27 of our own citizens have passed away due to the virus. On behalf of Chairman Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones and the Board of Commissioners, we would like to extend our sincere condolences to those individuals and families who have lost loved ones to the virus. The state of Georgia created a COVID-19 hotline with the sole purpose to answer your questions and address your concerns related to the virus. If you have questions and wish to speak with someone, call the COVID-19 hotline at 844-422-2681. On June 9th, Cobb and Douglas Public Health moved the testing site from Hunter Park to Douglas Public Health Center on Sullivan Drive. This drive through site is open Monday through Saturday from 8.30 a.m. to 11.30. Also, as of June 10th, Cobb and Douglas Public Health has tested over 2,500 people. Remember, anyone can be tested regardless if they have symptoms or not. Visit cdphcovid19testing.org to complete the online testing referral to make an appointment. Individuals who arrive without a pre-approved number from Cobb and Douglas Public Health will not be tested. Cobb and Douglas Public Health would also like to remind everyone that they are now doing contact tracing. Therefore, if someone is contacted by Cobb and Douglas Public Health and notified as a contact to a case, they should go to the new testing site on Selman Drive to be tested. There's a chance if you go somewhere else, it may not be free. News broke last week regarding the Solicitor General's office announcement to reduce traffic violation fines due to the backlog of cases from COVID-19 and to minimize the spread of the virus to court personnel and citizens. The Solicitor General's office, along with State Court of Douglas County, will be reducing traffic fines to $150 for low maintenance and or moving violations if eligible. The primary presidential election for the state of Georgia has come to an end. Douglas County Elections and Voter Registration released an election summary report. You can find these results on CelebrateDouglasCounty.com. Please note, these results are unofficial and incomplete. We would like to also thank voters for practicing social distancing and wearing a face covering while visiting their voting location. District 3 Commissioner Terania Carthen is hosting a quarantine to discuss a variety of topics on June 15th at 6.30 p.m. on her Commissioner Carthen's Facebook page. If you have any questions, please send them by tomorrow, June 12th at 5 p.m. to Christy Walker at kwalker at co.douglas.ga.us. Questions must be emailed by the deadline in order to be answered. Also, be sure to tune in to the one-on-one -on -one interview with my co-host Rick Martin and Dr. Janet Meemark for more local COVID-19 updates and information. Thank you, Lena. Douglas County citizens, please remain informed and follow our daily updates on CelebrateDouglasCounty.com, Douglas County Happenings Facebook page, and our DCTV23 Facebook page. Thank you for watching. See you next time.